and go. Mics are hot. Hey yo, it's your boy Just Can. I do because I just can. That's literally just can. <laughs> so last night, yes. Let's talk about it. Listen, I don't went home and was like pop, 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 pop. I couldn't wait to take that show. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait. I'll take everything off. <laughs> I Let's not talk about the lack of preparation that I had yesterday. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay. We have all kinds of wardrobe malfunctions. Hell uh, yeah. Then then they went to for once they everybody wants to go out after. So I had, you see how I come in pre-game before the show. Like, they do these slides, eye slides, yeah. some shorts, and a white tee. It was nowhere to go. Oh, what? We straight out on the slides. sidewalk. No, it's like, like, 1 o'clock. Yeah, I went up to, with the court, the Mary, the Marion. Marion Court. Yeah, whatever the hell that is. I've heard of Marianne it. Court. You see, no, 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 yeah, that happened. <laughs> we don't even say what happened last night. For those of you that were under a rock or didn't have the pleasure to attend, we had Cypher Sounds come down. Cypher, shout um, out. He and Damani Steele came down. It was so fucking lit. They oh, were Steel. 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 Like me. Damani Steele. Not like the metal. He was a Yo, he That shit was dark and it was hilarious. It was, yeah, it was like, dark. That's, that's, that's what I was looking at. He was telling jokes I was scared to laugh at. No, yeah, I was not, so no, like, no. am I now? Then I got on stage and I said what I said about my mama. I was like, oh, she's Yo. taking a turn. I was like, she's oh, taking the a one turn show, to the mom's side. not in the crowd. Exactly. She, oh, man. We're not even going to talk the about that no more. She, she might ask there. me later, like, what? The, nothing. Nothing. I don't know. Your body um, took the reins on that joint. Dame Robinson. Oh, he's getting the reins. Tore a fucking stage down mm-hmm. Body towards the stage, so don't do that. You yeah. both did, you right? Both exactly. Did. Yeah, I was so proud of Kenzie. He didn't do his move <laughs> once all night. Uh, That's the Kenzie. It's the Kenzie. That's the no, cycle who's doing that. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do all of it." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "You want to go eight pounds down for my fucking speed?" Yeah. Yeah. He was funny. Oh, I trust yeah. it so it's well. Sometimes it's just that thing. It just elevates you. He said, "I want to check in." Nobody. That shit was. So, highlight, best part of last night was what for you guys? Best part, honestly, I think at the end, at the end, after Snipe was done with his set, he had called a couple of the people up that performed on the cat, Mika Woods, um, they went back Shout out to my up. industry cousin, done the street tour that yeah, he had done. And they just did like a whole improv movie. He definitely put them on the spot. Mm-hmm. A thousand percent put and they but they rocked with it. And I exactly. thought it was really cool. I like that a lot. I wanted to so. spit some bars. I'm not gonna lie, man. She spit some bars. Right. I, I enjoyed, enjoyed Nico. Oh, he was good. Oh my god. Yo, his second piece was fucking yo. It was that great. shit was yeah. That was fire. Like you can feel his passion in his music. Yeah. And that was really enjoyable. It takes a lot of fucking balls to get up on that stage and do what you know. Funny too, like he had a lot of he had that entertainer quality to him, you know, like the way he was vibing with the audience and mm-hmm. you know cracking his own jokes and yeah. stuff. Like you, he, he said he had some yeah. jokes. Like, Stop it. He was he was a dope, like well-rounded entertainer. I felt like he, mm-hmm. he was good at yes, it. Yes, he had He gave me like cold vibes, like urban sure, cold vibes, like sure. his own like cold vibe. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. That's what I'm saying. You give me the vibes, like uh, there's an artist in the city, Steve Shallow. If you ever see someone like my rose and like that, you see yeah. like Ask Will, the logo, or them just things like that. You got your rap, you got your soul for two. Yo, you remind me of my guy. Mm-hmm. Yo, these guys, yo. Yeah. These niggas, I'm going to link y'all together. These guys need to do stuff. There's passion in his music, and you can still bop to it. Mm-hmm. So that's why it works so well. I like it a lot. What was your favorite moment? Oh, when I fucked up the sponsor. <laughs> 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 when I fucked up the sponsor. When you got roasted for fucking up the sponsor. Oh, oh that yeah. shit was funny. He went in on you, and that shit was funny as fuck. I killed him. I was like, damn. But shit. you know what? I bet there was a shit. lot of people that walked away from the show last night that remembered Right Way Home Care more than they remembered <laughs> any other sponsor that got mentioned. Like, oh, that's yeah. a fact. They, they, they remember that one. Care. 
That shit was crazy. If was, you want to buy a house. Yeah, yo. <laughs> Sorry. I Shout like, out to Home First Realty if you want to get like, a crib. No, what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> And I thought about it too, and it's crazy because like before I did that, I that wasn't like freestyle. Like I had calculated that in my head. Like I had, I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, this is the this is the one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give them the best. This is gonna be crazy. Yeah, because we be they like, don't want to give me yeah. a t-shirt. Because like that's what fucked me up. Because I was like, I was sitting there too. I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna no time to go over getting no like wet eat shit for like the produce and none of my time to prep. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Boom. <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, you're a vet. I expect more from myself. That's, that's why I'm so hard on myself. Yeah, I mean, I think that we are our hardest critics. I overanalyze and criticize myself all fucking day. And don't yeah. nothing get me wrong. You saw me in rehearsal. Nigga, how many times did I about to cry in rehearsal? So I was getting so fucking frustrated. Yeah. But then you guys always, you just, once you, it's like those nerves when you disappear. Maybe they don't, but it comes up. Oh, I was nervous all over like, the place. Yeah, when you guys hit that stage and you know, you can see that. You know, like, see that nerve that you can see. Is that dress, though? Yeah, you can. Bitch, I'm talking about shirts. Oh, mine? <laughs> yeah, that Coke bottle shape was on full display. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, people. Uh, that's my Coke. That's my Coke. Whatever, what's the one else? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you should have said "Stay high to the lips." Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. Right, say that a little louder. What? Oh, I don't. We, oh, you know what's crazy? I said that. I was like, I don't know. I think the way they be talking, I think so. But I was like, I can never be too sure. Like they, they talk like just singles. I don't Why really do y'all know. do that? Who be doing the same shit, yo? Because I don't know. Live one or. Our draws on uh-huh. a platter uh-huh. to bring us in bed and whatever, spoil the fuck out of us, whatever, be in their inbox. That's the wrong. Don't talk to me. And then they'll be like, like oh, no. we'll never hear about it. <laughs> and then I oh, guess. I tell them. It ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, shit, yeah, shit. Get it right. That's about as bad as being on a period. Yeah. You're, you're quite That's the baby. Okay. I'm doing all right. I suppress it. You're I suppress the anger. Well, you just got, you just got a heavy work schedule with life. So just things like if you mm-hmm. were like it just ain't get nothing, you just gotta stay at home and think women and shit like that. Yeah, that's true. Excuse my language. Mm-hmm. Use your language. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you know, you probably get frustrated and angry. I'd be angry in life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and then they give us knocking rose after I endorsed it. So I why not? Know. What's wrong with you? You're getting used to that. Right? No, absolutely not. That's what the Tory scene is about. Right? Mm-hmm. 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 And it, and like the way it vibrates, you know, getting around like the way That shit makes you feel like you're gonna split. It feels wonderful. <laughs> How's it feel? Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. 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 <laughs> Got the H in there. Wonderful. It does. That shit feels amazing. But can we talk about that for a second? Because I did see a meme this week that said, um, if you're an ambitious person, you have to have a partner that is super supportive or no partner at all. You guys think that's true? Yeah. Talk to one of my workers. Like, what are you gonna do now, bro? Damn, bro, not you, bro. Like, we need to talk about that. We gotta be deeper. Like, mm-hmm. say, but like, fuck you, what am I doing? Do what I've been fucking. Right, about. exactly. You think I have a plan A? That's my plan A. And if this happens, I already thought a plan B. And plan B goes through. Trust me, I have a plan C. But like, yeah, and if you you got to get with that. The thing about it is, people's, the average person, I believe, is their biggest failure is not failure, it's like, it's like it's not like failing, it's like the fear of mm-hmm. not being not even trying. Not tr- like the fear of if I go all in and get my heart in, like, you know, let's just do all in and like nothing else comes in. Mm-hmm. Am I not going to be accepted? Then I was vulnerable is this gonna be for all nothing. Fail? Is this right? All the people time. that told me no, let me write that's a mental. 
That's what they do in my church. Listen situation. to Pastor Kenzie. You hear him. Yo, yo, I'm, that joking, fucking but, like, I'm, I'm serious. Mean, you got to have a mental with yeah. this shit. This shit is vigorous. This shit is okay. mentally defeating. Yeah. Burn, it will burn you out. Mm-hmm. It will fuck with your head. Like, I constantly have that shit going on. Like, I'm constantly in my head. And, and the thing about it is, like, even with my current current relationship, like, it's got to be taught. Someone who's used to just the complacency or a, well, like a normal life balance is not going to be normal to the 4 a.m.s, the 5 a.m.s, that's the what, up late nights. That's what a lot of us are used to, toxicity, um, or we've been through some shit that makes 4 a.m.s and 5 a.m.s look a little sketchy. Exactly. Yeah. For real, real shit. Like, that's that just, true. It depends on the past history, like your relationship history. I understand it now. I don't ever want to be with a man who wants to lay up with me all day long. Go get money. Go do something. Go get my you are not body. going to be like, successful. You fucking yeah. lost, my guy. And I get, like, some people, some people are okay with just working a nine-to-five and living this. Nine-to-five are, that's fine. That's this fine. kind of lifestyle is not for everybody. Steve Harvey said yeah. it's just some great ordinary people. Yes, absolutely yes. nothing wrong. But if you sign up to be in a relationship with somebody that is not ordinary, somebody that grinds, somebody that's got more than one job, that's got, like, tons of things on their plate, especially with the creative stuff that takes time, if you sign up for that, then you have to be ready for what comes with it. If you can't handle that your partner's not going to be laid up under you every chance he wants, if you can't handle that, it's never going to be successful. It's not. You it's have never. to carve time out for certain stuff like that because yeah. we make time for things. People, period, make time for things that they want mm-hmm. or that are important to mm-hmm. them. This is very important. Mm-hmm. However, if I was in a relationship, I guess I would make time. You know what I mean? Like, you can have that one day a week or whatever. Let's, mm-hmm. let's go out to dinner and let's yeah. go see a movie. You know what I mean? But please understand that if I have an event or I have something else going on, that's, that's priority. priority. Yeah. Come. Like, you know what I mean? Come out support. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also, I've had issues with guys who, it's like they can't accept Bonnie. They don't like it. It's too much for them. Yeah. Like, I like, I like Bridget. Yeah. But it's a package Because I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a, you, it's like night and day. But Bridget comes with the, the work. I'm like that. Bridget, Bridget comes with the, the normalcy. Bridget yeah. comes with the class, the respectful manner, the proper etiquette, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. It's almost a submissive attitude, an mm-hmm. independent submissive attitude, which I swear to God, you probably go for. See, but I'm you still start, single. You get that vixen you get that, like, Bonnie, Ratchet, like, mm, who the fuck on check me? Mm, mm, mm. Think about, oh. Intimidating, but that just means you. I mean, like I said before, <laughs> you're looking for you're in the category of too weak a nigga. Excuse mm-hmm. me, too weak of a king or mm-hmm. a peasant servant. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. People, every guy wants a bad. Everybody wants a bad show. You're a beautiful woman or a queen until a time until it comes time to have that security that you need mm-hmm. to be able to hold, hold mm-hmm. or withstand that. Yeah, you follow me. You like it when you see her on the grid. You like it when it's a You will double tap the fuck out them pictures. Don't be like, oh, but now that's my shorty. Oh, no, nah, that's my shorty. Yo, your shorty on the grid looking crazy. Yo, mm-hmm. fuck with your head. Yeah. All right, fuck man, with them. Don't no fuck with them. That's see, it. but then why even, and that's my thing, like, I feel like I'd be jipping myself if I wasn't authentically mine. Me. You would be. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I can't be me, who do I look like changing who I am? To somebody else, yeah. Because you're gonna get Bridget while I'm doing that nine to five all day, but when yeah. I get off of work, listen, Bonnie lives within all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, what it's been what five years, six years now that I've been kind of podcasting with him. So five. Mm-hmm. The thing is, like, Jess Cans is a, like a name, but like, Jess, Jess Cannon is Jess Cannon. Jess mm-hmm. Cans, you call me what you want. Cannon, Jesse, Cansy, Cans. I am Kenzie. It doesn't matter. I'm the same fucking guy. Mm-hmm. I, on camera, off camera. We get to talk like this. We get off camera. I'm going to talk to you the same mm-hmm. fucking mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But last week, it was like, you're tapping on ice. You're stepping on ice. Or you're walking on ice. It's like, shit. That's <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i Sean said that he was like, he said, I'm doing, I'm doing a battle song for the Jim Carrey, and he's like, not doing it, I'm not doing it, and he's like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, The thing is, <laughs> you cap on me, you cap on this mic right here, mm-hmm. someone's got to retract that. Ask me again, how do you feel about something? Yeah, call it a 
25. I'm going to be 24-7. If I said, fuck you Monday, he asked me again on Friday, so you fuck you twice on Wednesday. Ask me, like, ask me, me Friday. Time, so I can yeah, give me, ask me Friday so I can give you the super. Yeah. The, 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 you know, I, I just, I'm mean. The super. I if you fuck with me, I want you to fuck with me, not the guy that I'm pretending to be. Right. Yeah. And I think everybody has that, though. I think everybody walks in like, you this person in my class. You have the way you are at work. You have the persona or the personality or the mannerisms. You know, you want to be... I putting mayonnaise on my voice. It, it is. You want yeah. to, you know, put the backy on and go to work. <coughs> that's yeah. that's p- part of your day. And then you go home and you get to relax and play your ass off and chill and talk to your friends however way you want. It's, but you're still the same person. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. We have our people here. We have our people out there. But it's still the same person. Right. You know, right, you just got to act accordingly to the room that you're in. That is true. But it's still all in you. <laughs> I had to take a call at home before and I was around with family and fun things. So I was just on my, I was just on my, yeah. God, my um, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> how you doing, Peter? <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, Joe. How's it going? Yeah, so, yeah. What's going on? How can I help you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Bad my thing. gosh. Oh, that looks like this would be an errant admission on your behalf here. What I'm going to do is you're actually getting involved in your remote. Turns into TI. <laughs> like, sure those expeditions. Did you go take the shot? <laughs> <laughs> and his whole family no, was probably no, like, <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, sir. <laughs> That'll speak to you again, sir. I'll enjoy your weekend. Absolutely. Oh, oh man, man. you almost cost me that deal, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, but. That's how it is, but you just gotta recognize it. I think other people don't write because they're not on camera, so they don't see themselves necessarily switch up and like have to change how they're behaving in any given, like, they don't see it because it's not on camera, but they can sit and judge us for the way we behave. I, it just bothers me because it's like, it's convenient when pe- people like me when it's convenient for them. You know what I mean? Like, that's anybody in my show. Yeah. yeah, like, that shit is fucking wet. But how many times have we seen it? Like, I mean, I've been here three and a half years almost now, mm-hmm. and like, in all the time, how many people have we seen come and go that would be, that were here for like a week or two, and then yeah, it was true. their boyfriend didn't like this Bruh. thing, didn't like them working with all the dudes, didn't, oh, you know, they can't film if they're with this person, and, and then you start trying to dictate how we're supposed to run business off of your relationship. I used to have to explain that, that so much, that shit, and I'll never do it again. There's so many things that I've done in past relationships yeah. that I'll never put up with or do again. Learn. Exactly, yeah. and that's, that's what it's all about. Yep. You gotta learn, because I'll be goddamned if you, if you think you're gonna tell me I can't do this, I can't do that. But those those same people who be like, no, I don't want you doing this. Those be the same fucking people that be mad fucking friendly when they see the opposite sex in public or when they're out and about. You know what I mean? Get because that, that isn't something they're friends with. I think that's what it comes down to. If we're here, say we're on camera and I'm in a relationship, right? And I started getting real flirty with Bonnie, and you know, you know, started right, my doing all the best. Yeah. That person that I'm in the relationship with, all their friends can see that and go clown them about it. It's all about their ego. It's I feel like, ego, yeah. yeah, it's about their ego because they don't want anybody to be able to come say something to them. About what you're doing. I had that problem in the one that I I just ended. He took issue with Queen Sable. He took issue with Queen Sable, and that's a no go for me. You got a problem with Queen Sable. Go see Antho Bobby. Yeah, like that's just, it's a turn off to me. You're either going to be supportive of what I do or you're not going to be around. Nobody wants to see you do what they can. His big thing was always, well, what if you guys are talking about sex or you're talking about this or you're talking about that? And then one of my friends comes into my job and starts saying, oh, I heard your girl talking about this on camera. So and I'm, I'm like, that's a you problem then. That's not a me problem. So that's your insecurities in the bedroom. Exactly. Like, is that? Mm, it's okay. I'm just gonna sip my mm. right That's now. what it is, bro. That's yeah, it's that. their ego can't handle their partner being in the spotlight. Like, even mm-hmm. when in situations, like, like, you know, like, I'm like, holy oh, fuck. I've been doing this a long fucking time. Like, mm-hmm. I've done things to fight, mix into rap, to all that shit. Like, I, look, this is my business. There's no relationship in the fucking world. None. Zero. Zilch. To stop him from getting mine. Like I'm getting his mind is due. I'm I'm due mine. And know? that's my and thing. If the cup like, starts fucking running over, then those same people are gonna be like, oh, there is none of that. There is yeah. none of that. You're with me now, and you get it, or you don't or you get don't. it. Shoot in the gym or get the fuck out. I'm mm-hmm. going to go. Those four a.m.s. I'm up. Yo, I need some water. Oh my god. You're saying that now because I'm building structure. Mm-hmm. You want to get out. Let's say you're building a house. You want to start building a whole 
Captain Blaine Foundation for the Sun Tour. So it's up. You can be able to do that. Relax. You're ahead of the ball. You live on the West Coast. Ain't nobody on the fucking West Coast waking up at 11 a.m. The East Coast always knows what's going on. They can stop the season five tonight. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you getting it or are you not? You started building it. You started building your house in the summer. Or you're up. You're going to be leaving. How you're already behind. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to champagne. And I'm like, you behind the curve. I'm trying to be ahead. 4 a.m. to up. 5 a.m. to up. Because mm-hmm. there's a motherfucker already quick. up getting it. Yeah. There's somebody already up thinking about their, 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 their podcast and what to do with X at 3 mm-hmm. 4 in the morning. That's the thing about what you do. That's why I think it's important not to sit on your ideas. Exactly. If you have ambition, it's easy to get sidetracked. Because I'm telling you, that's why I don't like to sit still. There have been. If I sit still for a little bit, I don't want to sit there for a little. (laughs) There have been so many times where I've seen, like, once we've done something, whether it's the comedy show or the poetry night or this or that, or just having the podcast. I thought of that a long time ago, but you didn't do Do it. it. But did you do it? Did you do it? No. No. You know, and that old saying, early bird gets the worm, that's what the fuck they're talking about. Exactly. I got up before sunset and laid that foundation. That's what they're talking about. Exactly. You know? And you got to see the sunrise, too. It's beautiful. Exactly. It's beautiful. Exactly. Right. And then you see, right? Now, you know, when the sunrise, you see the transformation of our sunset. Mm-hmm. Like that. You know, I, think that's, I yeah. think that's what makes us work, though, because we're all like-minded mm-hmm. in that way. So even if we don't necessarily always get that support from partners, we always get that support with each other. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I think that's what helps to keep us pushing forward in those moments where maybe somebody else. I know people that have either been like a like a good rapper in the city or this or that, and then they get into a relationship, and that person talks them out of their dreams. You and and like sometimes some of these rappers need to talk them. Out of some of them do, but I know some that were good. I know some that yeah. were good, and, and they, they stopped because being, of love, and they stopped because she didn't like the attention, that she didn't like the groupies, she didn't like him being out, going at shows, and out of town, come. and this and that. And that's the thing, you can't always. But there's a thin line between that. Cause mm-hmm. I say come, but I remember mm-hmm. I was in a relationship where I used to say <laughs> come on, and I was like, yeah, like that's why I got to be honest. Hold on, with you. I've been, I've posted those before with the comedy. That's what got me the rights. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not sure if you fuck with me. Alright, okay, this is my fuck me. Calls me a couple contracts. It should be whack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the be dead. Like, yeah. I've seen more people to get them off of the stool <laughs> than I've seen some of these rap kids. I mean, like, it's crazy, yeah. like. But it's the thing, like, it's just crazy to say anything with that. Like, the thing about those shows is that black people, locals, I see the show really like, yeah, probably. The problem is you probably think that the people are waiting for it. I'm waiting for you. Oh my god, there's a show on Sunday and so and so SoundCloud rapper is gonna be there. Oh my god, I can't miss it. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you telling me you didn't have to be here? This is no bigger. The joke was no bigger than this room. The whole studio. Oh. Tell me, do you bring good people? Do you bring good people? Mm-hmm. But let's talk yeah. about that too, though, because getting support from people who should be supporting you or you would think support you, that's not that. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to my tribe. You know what I mean? The ones that do show up. But I've had to ask several times for some people to come out. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just gets annoying after a I get to the last point, like, this support. is the last group text. Last fucking warning, fucko. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I like that because it shows you. So I don't need the I don't need to write you personally and ask you. You follow the only way you really do it. You know what's up. Yeah. You know what's up. He'd be like, send me the next show. Send it to you live. It's all over my social media. You send me the next really show. You said that two shows ago, bro. Yo, why you wanna go with me? Because you in the way. Yeah. That's why I fell back from supporting a lot of people. It sucks because I support people who support me. And if you don't feel support for me, it's because I don't feel support for you. Like, I no longer join everybody's events and doing this and doing that because I don't get the same shit in return. Mm -hmm. I can count just about on both my little piggies Mm -hmm. and how many people actually came out. And some of those people I want to spend money with, they still haven't come out. I, I still try to tag you. Yeah, they'll still want you to come back out to theirs. I think 
I sound bougie. I'm gonna sound bougie as hell. Most of the time, I'm outside nowadays. I'm not outside getting a check. Oh, and that's what it comes check. Like, it comes outside with a check. Dollar, like, dollar bill, Joe. You know what I'm saying? I think- for me, that's what it kind of comes down to at this point. Like, unless you're really my people and, like, I'm just supporting you because you're my people. If it's somebody else that's just like, oh, come check out the show I'm doing. Unless that show is a networking opportunity, I I'm, really I'm not going. You got to show me some type of love. I know it sounds crazy, but, like, I don't I don't post about it. I hate, I hate that shit. What? I hate when us as figures or influencers do that. I hate when we're like, you know. We don't get to the point, uh, all right, listen, 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 you sound weak, you sound mm-hmm. weak on the media, you sound desperate, you sound like you're feeling, you're like you're losing your fucking stock. Mm-hmm. If you would ever write that, I'd be in your inbox so Wait, quick. I would. No, I'm saying, if you would ever say something like that, any of us. Yo, we don't get some food of this, it's corny, man, oh, no. you know. I feel like it needs to be said sometimes because I feel like people look at me like, oh, I didn't see you. It's such and such. Why the fuck would you see That's me? That's a part of the process. Why would you see me? I'm glad you didn't see me. I, I enjoy so much when I go out in my hometown. People are like, I didn't even think you I stopped looking. I, I stopped mm-hmm. looking for local support. Mm-hmm. That's one of the reasons I'm here. You know what I mean? I'm here. Let's say I love my town. And the people who support me from my yeah. town, they rock with me from my town. That's Shout cool. Out Shout out to Riding. Shout out to Riding. You know, I'm not So, let <laughs> <laughs> change my mind. I used to be like, ah, I don't look for local support. They're like, oh, you know, I don't, yo, you going to the reverb, bro? You going to the vibe bar, bro? You doing this or you doing that? No. Yeah. Uh, bro, I'm not. I don't want to do that. Shout out to uh, DJ Cashmere from York. He actually, he put my original podcast on her first flyer. And I knew him from like way back in school and stuff. And he, um, we met up one time and he's the first person that gave me that piece of advice. And it was like, it stuck. It was a gem. He was like, you're always going to get more support outside your city before you get it. Here. Exactly. He was like, you got to start popping somewhere else to pop here. And that fucking sucks. Yeah. It's just what it's always been. Even when I did like a little rap and shit like that, like I realized it took for me to pick up and go to New York, pick up and go to Florida, pick up and do different shit for me to be like, oh, well, he's not playing. He's oh, not he's playing. Right. Yeah. He's not playing. Oh, I'm out here. Oh, you're out here. You're not playing. Oh, oh shit. People follow. <laughs> and it's crazy because people, that's one thing I, I told, I was talking to Modern J. I'm glad to what yeah, yeah, back yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, it's back there sneaking uh, big CD and shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, shout out to the CD though. Yeah, that's just that just sucks. I was like, yo, I'm off the book. I want to go to another instrument just because it's my favorite. Facts. I love it. I'm stepping out my car going to IG. I'm like, I'm going to IG all day. I'm like, move that out of my comfort zone because it's like, yeah, I'm trying to move this shit on Facebook. It puts me. Steve Harvey said this too. You see, I've been watching a lot of motivation. He said, yo, if you put a seed. Right? In a pot. It's gonna grow like a normal plant, right? <laughs> but you're limited to that pot. Thanks. Forever. Mm-hmm. Put a tree in a fucking yard. Put a tree in a forest. That's just gonna grow bigger than you ever seen possible. Which is like, why I, step I, out your comfort zone. I've been like, myself out of movement so many times. Like, I, I shouldn't do it because of this. I shouldn't do it because of that. If you wait on other people, especially too. To push you to do something, you'll never fucking do it. You'll never do it. Nobody you'll be that else guy. can push you to do it though. Like if you don't have the motivation in yourself for something more, for something different, for changing your life, if you don't have that in you to get up in the morning and do that, there's nobody else in this world that can make you do it. Like we're all grown adults. Nobody gets their hand held anymore. No one's coming to save you. Nobody's gonna come Thanks. push you. Nobody's gonna come wake you up. Nobody's gonna set your alarm for you. Nobody's gonna do that little bit of homework or that extra shit at night. No one's gonna do that for you, but you do it for yourself. And there's you, 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 you gamers need to understand the reality of life. There's no reset. There's no redos. Yeah. Once that day's gone, that day's burned. Yeah. Days That's go it. by fast. You get that back. Like I'm, th- I'm gonna be 34 years old this year. Like I'm like, pup. yo. He's a pup. Yo, that's the problem. <laughs> to me, like, I feel like I'm 10 years behind the curve. Mm-hmm. That's easy I, to what I should have like been that. doing, and here's the, the, yeah, that's the thing, because it wasn't like I can tell a story, oh, man, I had a hard upbringing. Let's be honest. I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, I went to Mifflin. 
Got a ride, I fucked it up. Got to school, running with the school. Came back, fucked it up. Played and fucked around through my whole 20s until I had a kid. Got slapped in the face and realized life has to change. Yeah. And then I started getting my life together. And that nigga got your whole face. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean? So I feel like I fucked around and did. And I'm doing everything now that I should have been doing 10 years ago. Yeah. I feel like, really, I'm like, I'm about way behind. I should be fucking rich right now. I think yeah. one of the things is, too, and I know we've talked about this before. I feel like, especially like when it, with family or friends or people that know us from our hometowns, they have a preconceived notion. They will always think of you as Kansas in high school. Mm-hmm. Or Bonnie in high school, oh, or you know, the other name. exactly. And it's like that it, they'll never get that last image. The last time you were an active part of their life, they will never get that idea of you out of their okay. head. You will always be that person, even though it's 10, 20 years, and you're a whole different human being than you were at that point in your life. Whatever you're doing, oh, they were doing that. Who do they think they yeah, are? Oh, yo, in high school, this guy was. Yeah, oh, was guess it's what? a lot of that. And then, and then you go outside. Yeah. But think- you go outside those limits, and people that don't know you who have no preconceived notion of you are just like, oh, that podcast is dope. Yeah. They're not thinking, oh, who's this? And, you know, you don't get that same attitude. I think that's why you get so much support outside. People don't, yeah, like, um, he said, I, I forget who I was listening to, but he said, people have this, like, your preconceived notion of you, like, it's people to have their own value of you. Mm-hmm. So, as a matter of fact, it was a story my man told was quick. He was like, basically, he was like, guy had an old school car. Mm-hmm. Giving it to his daughter. She graduated. Old as shit. Old. Mm-hmm. Old Pinto, let's say, right? Boom. He's like, Dad, want this car? Right. Check it. So this is what I want to do. I want you to sell it. I want you to go down the road. I want you to uh, go to the car dealership down the road and see what they give it to you. And then he was like, I'll give you 100 bucks for it. He was like, see what the fuck I'm going to do with that, Dad? You're right. Don't worry about that. Go to the pawn shop. See what they give it to you. He said, give me a thousand bucks for it, Dad. That's not enough. You're right. Go down to the car, the car club down the road, see what they give it to you. Dad, they said, give me a hundred bands. Of the story is, everybody has their own perceived value mm-hmm. for what you think you are. Mm-hmm. So don't let that motherfucker, just because you're in that crowd, mm-hmm. let that motherfucker tell you, man, you worth a hundred dollars, bro. One is man's somebody... trash is another man's treasure. Meanwhile, we on our road to greatness where, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone sees your value at a hundred thousand. Your fans see you way different and the people who just pop on your page and like oh shit mm-hmm. oh shit yeah. they'll change like oh i like this they're liking it because they like it yeah they don't give a fuck about you about bro. you specifically yeah they're yeah. like they ain't worried about what you did they ain't worried about the, what you did in high school but in the meanwhile when you're in that pot that's small you mm-hmm. feel me that's why i've like i've been like seeds, no, exactly <laughs> right people talk about crimes in the barrel and mm-hmm. you share me every week i come here i say i'm like yo we gotta get the fuck off the- we gotta get- i love y'all facebook Get the fuck off Facebook. <laughs> no, seriously, huh? Every time we talk about it. Get the fuck off Facebook. They hate the fuck off Facebook. I'm t- I, I want to get off Facebook, period. Oh, I really, we got really flagged the other day. Oh, yeah. All our comments. <laughs> we just want to kick the kids ass. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the comments pop up on Old Girls Joint, on, 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 on Vixen's Joint, and I'm like, Damn, it had your shits filtered, filtered. I was like, I know y'all said some raunchy, ratchet ass shit. I was like, they on Facebook won't even let it clear. I absolutely did. I was about to brag and fucking tag. I forget what it was. I'll fight a little kid. Um. Oh shit, yo, what's up, Dom? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see you guys. I know that's right. You hear him? Um, Dom, Dom, what up, Dom? He's what up, Dom? Um, I like seeing Jesse on his motivational speaker shit. You see him? You know, it's real yeah, hard. It, shit. It's real hard to take him serious though when I can see his Tweety Bird underwear from over <laughs> here. It makes, <laughs> it makes all the motivational. Just like yeah, don't play broken the Looney Tune edition. Don't play. Oh, I can see his Tweety Bird yeah, 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 and like, I can't take him serious. You take serious, bro. If you old school. You fuck with the Looney Tunes, bro. Don't play. I'll do it. You know how I'm going to fuck. I'm not in here. I'm going to burgle your butt. Hell yeah. Tweet bird, bro. Tweet bird. Hell yeah. That's his own original. Uh-huh. It makes, it, it makes it harder to take him seriously. <laughs> That's crazy. I take you seriously. But what up, Dom? Thanks for tuning in. You should have yeah. come to the show last night. You missed some epic shit. Yeah, Everybody that wasn't right. there should have been there last night. I'm telling you, that, that show gave me, like, Chills. Like everyone's like, how do you feel? How do you feel? I feel fucking electric. Yeah. Like we were on cloud nine, out standing on the sidewalk till like one o'clock in the morning. Just, just bugging out. I'm telling you, the cycle was mad. He's mad down to earth. 
Yeah. So that's what I could appreciate about people who make it to this level of success. Um, when they maintain their ability. And yeah. They're, yeah. They're like. He was definitely a cool dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He was very, he was very cool. I was excited to meet him. He seems. He was very personable. Like, I don't know what, I didn't know what to expect, you know? It's, yeah. a, it's a celebrity. We don't, you know. <laughs> so big. Yeah, you just don't know what to expect. You know, you hear stories. He was, he was very great. He was so kind to everybody. He was, you know, considerate. He was standing on taking pictures with people. Yeah, he you know, taking around, videos too. with everybody. And, like, he was just ready. And he made us laugh our asses off. Batman is cool. I don't think he wanted well. to leave. I think secretly he wants to, I think he secretly wants to move to Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Like, like, like the like word. Yeah. yeah. I think he secretly wants to be here. I mean, I can't blame people for wanting to be here. I went to the Strawberry Fest this past weekend. Mm. Yeah, Strawberry Mm. Yeah, there was a strawberry <laughs> fest at, uh, at the market. Since I'm a Lancasterian, oh, at uh, Central Market. I, 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 that, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm like, is that Central Market? Yeah, they had like, the white ones. Girl, no, I had crepes. Like, well, she had a crepe, and I had like Crap this fish. sausage. <laughs> this fish. sausage bowl it had hey, it was so offensive to my <laughs> heritage. <laughs> what, is, what is it? Crepes. 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 <laughs> yeah, but then I had a sausage, a strawberry sausage chorizo bowl. Oh, that sounds delicious. Uh, I wouldn't have thought to I love sausage and like strawberries. Like, yeah. I, love I mean, sausage. I like some strawberries and whipped cream with a side of sausage. Why we always got to go left? See, look, I was trying. But I've never, like, mixed the two together. Can I get a fan? You know what I mean? I feel like I'm about to melt. Can I get a fan, please? All the clappers were out last night. That shit was beautiful. Yeah, that's a fact. Were I mean, I thought more of my ass was going to be out than it was, but it wasn't. It's it's crazy. Crazy. No, it was very tasteful. Crazy crazy. Tasteful cheese. It was tasteful no, cheese. Was it wasn't just mine. Everybody looked nice. I feel like everybody looked nice last night. Yeah. Right, I think right. so. Right. I think so. Yeah. You know how we do. Every time we have something. Oh, cool. next up we have Room of Rhyme. Oh, my God. I can't And um, for those of you who don't know, you guys want to describe Room of Rhyme for those who haven't been to one? So, when you come to the Room of Rhyme, it's a different type of operation. It's not an event. Very well said. Very well said. It's a button. It's not an event. Very well said. Arose and praise, poetry, epitaph, and eyes, poetry, for days. and Hey! Yeah, we definitely have that. And then we also have our, our what? Live art. Yeah, so basically, the way room and rhyme is on. Come on, man. I missed my shoes. I'm talking about you said you're at the next one. I'm talking about moving around. I saw a few of you on that fast. I'm like, oh, oh. I think we're out. I was like, I think we're out. We shoot half of the theater. We're like, I don't have my shoes. I have to flip out. I disappeared. Yeah, that shit was close. I'm about to leave Jasper's. You can't believe. I'm like, this. Where did you go? Did you go all the way back to Reading? Uh, Are you fucking uh, story time. I don't know where he went. Story time. Who yeah. knows? This is what like, happened. All I saw was your clothes. I'm so, like, where is he though? I was so I slide. I'm going to keep it a beat. So boom. When I get ready for shows, even this show, there's like three blunts in the seat. You know, go for my stuff. So I'm going to go for my stuff in the car. Checklist. You know what I mean? I got to do like a little kid. Tie, vest, beat it, horn, shoot, razor. I do the same thing. Bells there, um, dance, socks, or no <laughs> shows for the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, yeah. All right, shoes. Oh, let me grab my, this is what I do, boom, let me grab my jeans. Because I had slides on, I knew it was going to rain. Yeah. I felt like it was rain was coming. I was like, boom. So I took my suit out, put it in my car, threw my jeans in there. Boom, go to the store, hit my man's to get right to get the rest. Boom, I'm like, shit, it's time to slide out because I need prep time. Skirt, slide. I slide right out. I'm thinking the whole way I'm down there is these Gucci. Get out. I'm like, shit. I see these I see these people walking down. I'm like, shit. I'm about to get my vibe right. Like the blunt. Pull out my suit. Bah. Here we go. <laughs> Showtime, baby. Kansas has been the killer today. 
Jade. Oh, she was. Immediately. <laughs> that was like a crib, nigga. And it's like, yo, I'm like, what time is it? It's 6.50. I'm like, fuck. Oh. Mind you, the show starts at 8. 8. Doors are opening in five minutes, bro. I'm like, fuck. I fly in there. Boom, I fly inside. She's like, go. I didn't even see you. I see all y'all. And I said, he was hot. Out. I said, hot, hot, hot. I said, hi to Yaz. I said, hi to you. I said, hi to Tanya. And I was like, I was, I think I like nodded to you. Yeah. Put my shit down. I was like, y'all be right back. I had no yeah, time he was like, how do she you was like, go transform. I was like, transform what? Man, I got slides on me. And that's it. Uh-huh. My car was like two blocks down. I just peeled. I just had to peel. I just hit the highway like right there. And I was just out. Like right there. I was just out. Like. I so look probably how you did. Put that shit I probably did one fifteen, probably straight back. Allegedly. No, I did. <laughs> I was fucking out, bro. I'm trying to save you. <laughs> <laughs> Are any officers around? Right, Allegedly. Watching. Oh no. You I can't was... get him now. You got to Yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> I, I was out. I was like, I'm gonna get pulled over. I'm gonna get pulled over. I'm gonna get pulled over. Yo, it's crazy. Yeah. I get behind this charge. This eighteen woman. You know, it only happens. When Does anybody else feel this way? When, you when you're in, when you're late. Go. Is everybody gets in your way? Every yeah, every time. Everybody, every time. yo. I'll get behind the slow. slowest motherfucker possible, and as soon as I get around that one, I'm behind another one. Like it's awful. I'm like, yo. I was like, yo, I can make it back in like 32 minutes, yo, if I can fucking get a clear road, so, like clear at night. But I went back when I came home, like from at night. Bro, I was home at night. I was like, eight five. It took me 29 minutes to get home. 29 minutes and clear road. I got that. He goes, he's in the speed lane. <laughs> I'm rocking on the city lane. Yeah. Hey, I'm like, I'm the 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 I got the words over his room, bro. I'm the same way. I'll be screaming at you out the window. Really? Yeah. Y'all can't be doing like, that. Like, some of us have places to be. You can't be doing that. <laughs> People's crazy. I'm crazy. Yeah, you no, know, I'm on the crazy I'm on the crazy spectrum. Y'all yeah. roll, speaking of school buses, y'all roll school bus together, huh? That little fucking, the special bus. Y'all yep. you know, I, sure did. I was on the shuttle bus. Okay. I went to city schools. We didn't have a bus. We walked to school. I went to a suburban school where I lived a block away. No, I, was, I, I took the school bus. We, it's wild, though. One of the bus drivers that we had, so they're, you know, depending on what neighborhood you live in, the type of bus you get on. So for a while, we had the shuttle bus, which was the one that kind of went all through the city, like Cabbage Hill and then South Side. That would just sound like the project. Is it the project? I mean, it's not the worst part of the city. It's not the yeah, best, too. but it's not. You know, it's. I'll take you there. We'll go for a drive. Oh, all right. Over. <laughs> so one of our bus drivers, though, like he was always friendly. I don't remember there ever being anything weird or bad about like him. Sit on my lap, friendly. Or? No, like he was always nice to me. Turned out to be the sit on the lap friendly, and then one day the bus driver disappeared. We didn't know why, and. He said, yeah. sit on my lap for me. He was in jail. Joe. I'm serious. Look, some of these things just sit on your lap for nah, me. Yeah, he was. He did. He did many, many years. He came out not too long ago. I saw him. So did Mr. He came out? Yeah. His, uh, yeah, he went to jail for Oh, I thought you time. meant like he came out because it is Pride Month. No, no. Not yo, that kind of yo, hey, I mean, yo. He like fresh out. Like, he was fresh out. But shout out to everybody who celebrates Pride Month because it yes. is Pride Month. Mm-hmm. That makes me excited. I'm here for well, it. Well, speaking of Pride Month, did you guys see what happened? So it was either it was like Utah, Iowa, I forget where it was. Um, but there was a, a pride parade going on and this U Haul, like a regular like U Haul that she went, was driving around like near the area and I guess kept circling. The police pulled it over. They opened up the back of the U-Haul, and inside were 31 white supremacists, armed, vests, tactical gear, gas bombs, white shields, like white. It looked like those masks that people pulled out, like just here, like the fabric ones, but it was the whole way up over their head, like the new version of the KKK, I guess. What Completely covered in white sheet over their face, like a white mask. And they were on their way to Bradbury to, to start some shit. Yo, they are about to take... They came out. That's crazy, man. I just want to know how they're in the back there. You can't breathe back there. It's not even that you can't breathe. Yeah. You know, one person well, started back there. The they were about to die. Yeah, and I actually, yeah, I've been 
I'm talking about when like the door shut. Like, yeah. Yeah. Why were you, why like they put that? you in the trunk? <laughs> Not me, it was like all of us and then we tried to like smoke back there. We tried to like smoke back there. You look like in a past Oh yeah, so like we're riding, right? So, like, alright, so this is the dumbest shit that we ever did. So like, we're in the back of you know, I'm riding my sister, right? Riding boo boo shit. Boom. It ain't like no, like no my Mary Wayne. We married some, I'm about to let a cigarette. Right there, Joel. Look. <laughs> right, we're like, Five miles out from where we're going. <laughs> Start banging so, on that fucking. Yo, we're like, yo, it's tight in here, bro. Like, you just cut it, like, go put that thing out there. It's killing us. Like, yo, we put it out. The old drone smoked up. We're in there, like, yo. <laughs> yo, pull over. Pull over. So, like, yo, it had to be like three or four blocks. They're not hearing us. Chill out. Ah. And, yo, that shit was crazy. We finally pulled this over. Finally pulled over. Like, what's your problem? All the smoke comes out. Like, yo, you know Y'all was smoking cigarettes back here, bro. Yo, <laughs> Yo y'all deserve to get what you got. Like, we should have kept going. No, I agree. You deserve no, that. No, 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 no. To... We were probably like 19. We're done. Ain't a cool That's so fucking. Somebody didn't take physics at the fact no, no. white high school. No. no, I didn't even think about it. That's so, that's so fucking just, no, hateful, though. Like, those people, I wonder how many of them was it? 31. 31. They're going to lay down everybody. They said and, they know. had like best tactical gear. They had smoke bombs. They, like, they, Did they have guns? I don't think they had guns. They said they had weapons. They didn't say guns, though. I, what they're assuming is that they were there to start a riot. That was what that they just want to go and beat some people up. It's kind of more what they're. They might get beat it the was. fuck up. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, do not ever mistake a drag queen for somebody that is a six foot four man underneath that makeup and he will fuck you up. Like <laughs> stop assuming that because someone's gay or transgendered or or a lesbian or a drag queen or any of these that they will not put hands on you and drag you like the little bitch you act like. I like, always you feel like get dragged. people dragged. who are hateful like that, I feel like subconsciously they might be that way. Yes. They like it. They have yes, some like sexual tendencies. And nothing's wrong with that. Like, be your fuck. It's easier to be who you are. It's because they have. I think they, this new, they put shame to it because it's easily in their face. Twenty years, our generation gonna be so the world gonna be so open, open sexually. Yeah. I'm telling you, once well, see, once like, we die off, the Mennonite community. Did you see what they did? They actually um, started embracing LGBTQ. Good. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. A few. Well, uh, I just feel like that's that's the, that's what I always get in my head. Yep, in Pride Month, like they so they'll do their marriages now. That's they'll right. allow them like they're integrating them into the church and things like that, which I feel like it is. There's good. still rules against that. Like in certain the, religions, and yeah. Things. I mean, like the, like legally, I mean, like I mean, not so much. I don't getting know. married, everybody getting married everywhere. Like, yeah. I thought guys could just get straight. Yeah, no, it's federally legal. Obama did that. Yeah, like I, I, I'm Mr. Ao. I know what they do. Seriously, that's why, I like, it's, it's, that's why, I like, even still, like, the one, like, some of people that I'm like, I'm not anti homophobia. I'm, do you, like, do you, 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 do I don't yeah, care like, who you fuck, I don't care what position you do it in, I don't care, you as marry. long as it's consenting it adults and nobody's hurting anybody, I don't care. It's too, it's shit. too, it's like, everybody's not all over. I'm, I, I feel like, I'm like, bro, it's, I don't it's even know why it's world. still a debate. There's so much know. other shit going on, bro, that you could be concerned with besides, like, who's fucking who, like. Like, who cares? Who cares? I don't care who anybody else sleeps with. I really don't. What you, who you fuck does not make me come. But it's just, I've never, you know, you see all the time, like somebody in the Bible belt, some like evangelical preacher that's so anti gay and anti this and anti that. And then he's the first one to have some little tie boy tied up in his closet. They yeah. on a regular basis. Like uh, they're always the the ones that scream the loudest. They're usually the ones that have some tendencies. 
I just, like I said, it's easier to be yourself. Just be yourself, living mm-hmm. your truth. That's my best advice mm-hmm. because there's not enough love in this world. I feel like people care so much about what sense. other people think yeah. until they find out that those people don't give a fuck for real. So if I like chihuahuas, would you judge me? If, like, if you know, want bestiality, well, be oh, like if you like like your pito taco bell, let me lick your taco. I'd have a problem with that that's because that's an innocent dog. Him, that's an innocent dog, and he didn't ask you for that. He can't consent. The puppies can't consent. That's why well, I gotta be a puppy. I like well, rollers. Wow. That motherfucker will kill you. That would be a whole setup. If he dies, if then he dies. dies. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Thundercat. Oh, and God. get your t-shirts from her too. She has yeah. t-shirts, and her business cards are fire now too. I love them. Mine's oh, my purse. Her. I need to show them all. Oh, right. Right. Do you? It was very cool. She was so excited giving them to us last night. She should have been emotional. She's fire. I'm so proud of her. She killed it last night too. I got money, honey. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Shameless plug to any you tuners in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a Beamer 5 Series, 7 Series, X Series. Well, I got to be a Beamer. Because they're the best. I love Beamer. Are you really? I love I'm, I'm in the market for a new Beamer as well. Is that what I should do? Because I, I was told not I mean, Audi's still a lot for Audi. I was, I, I was, I was told not to Now, I had an Audi. Audi. I like Audi. I had an Audi back in the day when I was in college. I had an A4, like a, just an Audi A4. The upkeep on that bitch, the word. I will They're never crazy. buy another Audi again, ever. That's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to come down a Beamer on this no, Audi's not getting my Beamer. You said my Beamer's crazy. Audi's going to kill me. Should I do it? Because I want to do it. Let's do it. I'm going to tell you it's match. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up. Look, see, I would just, I, well, this is something my record, like, when I told I'm you online, this before. I got the extended. You can hold me to it. I said this before. I said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be, I'm going to be taking these lips to get these rats for like a month. I said that, right? I was like, I'm going to be getting those like a month. Watch me slide inside quick. I was like, well, that wasn't even the first choice. Is the thing of the first choice is bullshit. I was like, yeah, I'm glad. Well, you should be getting some insurance. I'm about to get a check. Yeah. I'm about to get a check. Good on you. Right? Where are you taking us? Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah, Where are we about to eat at? I think we you need to take your sisters to dinner. Right. Where are we about to eat at? Um you like that four for four? That four for four. That means you get the nuggets. I prefer McDonald's. You get the nuggets, you get the ginger <laughs> bacon. Oh my God. I get the fries. <laughs> in the ginger. <laughs> we got a simple <laughs> best job. Yeah, watch me go hit the new car when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Really quick before we get out of here, because yeah. what do you guys think about Lori Harvey? 
I think that if I was famous, she'd be getting bent over. And I'd be, yeah. I'd be singing the, I'd be singing, the I'd be singing the future song. Just the heart, I don't wanna. So you would hit, but you wouldn't keep her? I'm not keeping no Steve Harvey's daughter. She even okay. passed pass around like buffet plates. Fuck out of here. She has had like seven public relationships in yep. the past like three years. Yep. Um, True story. Yeah, it's been a lot. My thing is though this, it's a double standard. Mm-hmm. It's a very large double standard. Everybody wants to drag her because she wasn't ready to settle down with Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Like just because he's ready to settle down, this man that is 10 years older than her, just because he? he's 35, she's 25. I'm sorry, but y'all are in two completely different. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, so think about all that dick she got in the last three years. She's only 25. Well, girl, like, but, like, you're in completely different places in your life. Your standards are different. What you want in a relationship is different. You should have had those conversations before you got that serious. Sure, sure. Yeah, which is true. I If um, she just wanted to fuck, you just say that. I don't mind the fact that she's out here dating. And my thing is, we can't assume that everybody she's ever been photographed with or even been in a relationship with for that matter. Well, relationships. I think if you're them. claiming them on IG, you probably That's fucked. my problem with yeah. it because there's nothing wrong. I don't like seeing everybody judge her like that. Yeah. I don't like to judge people. Yeah. Because I don't want nobody judging me. Yeah. But my thing about it is stop attaching yourself to these men. Like, you should don't not make be in public. photographs with them. They shouldn't be on your IG. Sure. My good sis said it best. Yep. Cardi B said, if ain't no ring on my finger, you ain't going on my gram. Yep. And that's on, period. Like, mm-hmm. fuck out of here. I'm not putting you on my social media and attaching myself to you. If I don't know that you're all the way solid, mm-hmm. I need a me. Exactly. Exactly. What you suck your teeth for? You don't want a you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> all right, so. I'm going to take that back. So, boom. All right. Is he going at 6'5"? All right. All right. That's my guy. I like him like that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yo, yo, yo. Chill out, bro. He's yeah, I like him like that. I'm the only <laughs> it's not me, it's no one. <laughs> Damn it! I like him like that. And something. Why you don't know. embrace your bald heads? Oh, he looks cute with hair too. Oh, it, it doesn't look bad, and I would never that's know. Being a Lino. I would <laughs> never know. I would never know that that's a lace, but I like him better bald. Mm-hmm. Uh, either way works for me. But whatever cute. makes you feel. How tall is he? How tall is he? Shut the fuck up. Bigger than me, you know. I'm six two. Like he's. Taller than me, like means the biggest one in the office that does yeah. nothing. <laughs> he doesn't think he can pick me up. I think we need to make an yeah, office visit. Yeah, you try to burn grease in his shit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The speaker, yeah. your Bluetooth. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got the joint. It's like seven up platinum. You know, platinum from the city? Like, mm-hmm. and he does the joints. I was like, shit. I ain't gonna hold it. I was like, shit. How many days is it? 700. I was like, shit. So it should be like 150 to get this beer filled in, right? <laughs> <laughs> 150, 200, you know? I'm like, you crazy. Wait, that's that's what what got a transplant with the. Yeah. Oh, that so looks good. Trans- yeah, he got that joint put in. Nah, he got the. He got the joint put in. It's like, it's like six weeks or some shit. I don't know. He got it like. Seven. I don't think he looked bad. Oh, I don't either. You look handsome. Why don't men like bald heads? Why I don't, don't know why I transferred like that. I don't know. He just came in one day. He God came in one day. He came, yeah. He came in. I thought he was a whole other person. I turned around and came out of my office like, Get the fuck out of my boy's desk, yo. Bro, who the fuck? <laughs> who the fuck? Yo, Josh? I thought he was my other phone. Hey, my other spot just got like, yo, Josh. Me? Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> oh, stand up! Not my guy, man! Your new shining! You got the finger waves, too! Oh, you got it! Oh, my God. He's been on every weekend since. He's like, hey, bro. I bet he's, he's, he's like, a whole he's like, now. If you go, God forbid you go bald tomorrow, you gonna, would you do it? Well, I'll see what I look like, bro. Like, I'd be ready to, like, commit, but I'm pretty sure that I'd probably start a go for a move for a while. I'd be like, I'm sick. You can start a gold. Like, I'm sick. I mean, you have a nice shaved head, though. Some men don't. Uh, man, I've seen what I have with the number one. I have the fade high top. I'm looking back like, God, God. <laughs> I want to see. I had the number one, dog. I had the number one lindo. God damn, lindo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I just, no, I just have, like. I don't want the shortest. Yeah, the one, like, the number one. Like, I looked like I was bald. I just didn't feel good. I was like, yeah, I guess because I have hair now, and I'm like. Nah, I can't, y'all. I got the hair and the tattoos, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the broke version of this girl. I cut my hair. <laughs> one time, I cut my hair. I cut it. It was like one of those, like, post breakup, like, I just need to do something kind of haircuts. 
and it was when the T Boz style came you back. Have a bob soon. It, well, that's oh. why. No, I am not. <laughs> have a bob? No. She's thinking about getting a bob. I refuse. Oh, no. I will not. There's got to be some accident or something happens that my hair gets cut that short. I don't know. I'm not doing it. I did it one time. I cut it short. And I you look know, like a golf ball. I'm going to cut my hair again. But I, I, I might get a little transplant on my beard. You know what I'm saying? Why? Well, I need my beard to connect, right? It's crazy. You know what I mean? You, you, you lose. I lose conventions. The scruff. The scruff. There's no scruff, man. This is missing in action. Well, aren't you? Isn't is this it, supposed to, like, if you shave it, it grows back thicker and thicker? I do and shave it. And, like, I do shave it. But I, I did that before. I had that own little chin strap, and I shaved this whole thing off. I hate the chin strap anymore. Hair. I feel like they either grow a beard or shave your face. Like I can't do that. Yeah, if I shave my I face, I've been here looking tough. I ain't connect to you. Does that make the hair? Yes. Or? I ain't plenty of Pusano. Really? It is not work. As a theory. Let it sit on your face. That's a go-to it. thing. Like, I need that. I she need that taste. You got your whole face down like a snail. Like a banana? He said, that's the third. Thank so you. Yeah, like, that has to like go down. You got your whole face down like a snail for it to grow. Like, you got a lot all over. I'm going to order. Oh, my God. That's how it works, ladies. Do it. So now we know. That's how you grow a beard. That's not how you grow a beard. They're having some trouble. Let's I've, I've been having trouble. <laughs> These events, because I'm pretty sure. Yes, I think so. That's what I had number one. Why does it look bad? It looks bad, bro. It doesn't to me. look bad. You look like Winnie Wonder. I think it's what I look like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, you're pretty good. No, 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 no. Yo, it's my boy. I'm Just Kaz. You know what I mean? I need a bunny. I'm out. I'm out this. <laughs> He's trying to cook me. <laughs> I would not be cooked two days in a row. Like, yeah, that's that's not so you, man. I would not tolerate this here. That was so <laughs> accurate, though. But we can get ready to slide up on here. Yes. But before we do, can we run through our events one more time? Yep. We got July 16th. Yes. July 16th. Oh, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Bring your snack and fingers. Room of Rhyme. It's art um, and spoken word. Yes. At the same thing. Live art. I got this one. It's dope. Okay. All these fits were back in business, no toy leads. One more time, your PA, home of Hollywood, buddy. Just kidding. He's been practicing uh, that, I think. Yeah. Uh, He's at home in the mirror. Fabio was off the top. Right, so he had him in front of the green screen. Anyway, how do we buy the just cage or PA? What's the part of it? Is that what we call it? The part of the part? Part of the thing is, I'm about to be there trying to save it through the thing. Tell a friend, tell a friend, it's not going to be great. Nothing. Over time for the workout, for the workout, for the issue. Hey, see, you can't practice that. You And everybody can't do it, so everybody who wakes up today is like, hey, I want to start a podcast. That's to you. Right. I believe it. Exactly. It's a grind. If you don't want to enjoy the process, yep. you can do it, but if you don't want to enjoy the process, you can't really talk about me. Really. That's the story. Yeah. The biggest thing that you said that is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shout out to Podcast Poppy. Also, before we get out of here, happy birthday. Shout out to Zoe. His birthday Hello. is tomorrow. Yes. Yo, happy 106 to my man Zoe. Okay, <laughs> I see you out there watching here. You know what I'm saying? Doing the slow. You know that I saw help for sure. We got we'll some videos. Yeah, we'll be posting videos all day yeah. tomorrow for National Zoe Day. Trying to get the home health care right on the show, but I'll definitely get your home health care right. Don't get that. Don't do it. Get your real estate. Is that another one? Get your real estate. And another special thanks to Cypher. Yeah, yeah, and Yes. Nico Woods. Nico Woods. Thunder. Thunder. Yeah. Her Hollywood. DJ. Her DJ. Oh, yeah, DJ. Her Sky. Her Sky. We'll see. We'll see. Yo, when I tell you that Coke bottle was on the bean and Coke bottle was on the bean, no way to say first. I do what I can. When I can. And you be doing it well, but yeah, you're so real. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> Yo, this has <laughs> been uh, the Queen's Table Safe. Let's match up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all my mails from Say Less for Dissing Me. I appreciate you all yes. the time. Period. Go get your Tweety on me.
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, listen, these are those cell broken. They're vintage. Oh, yeah. Listen. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Every, every I girl loves Tweety. Like that. Every girl loves Tweety. They were like, oh, my God, I'm about to. Anyway, have a good night, guys. <laughs>